Hi, and welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. If you've spent any amount of time creating BAQs in Epicor, then you've certainly asked yourself at some point, where do I find that data? Or how do I link these two tables together? Well, I'm going to show you the answers to both of those questions today, and I'm going to try to do it in two minutes or less. But first, a word from our sponsors. Anaris is the sharp edge formed by the intersection of arches. Where the two complex shapes meet, a simple shape is formed. At Aris Consulting, the Aris represents the point where the complex becomes simple. Whether you need implementation assistance, training, or business intelligence services, Aris Consulting is there to help your ERP system evolve. Aris Consulting. We make the complex simple. Let's put two minutes on the clock. I'll be demonstrating this in Kinetic 2024.1, but these same tools are available in earlier versions of Epicor as well. The first tool I want to show you today is Field Help. You can access this from the Help system, which is located on the left-hand toolbar of the home screen. Then we click the Help and Support Center button. The last step is to then check the Display Field Level Help checkbox. Now, when you open any screen, like Order Entry, you will find a new question mark icon on each field. Clicking on this will bring up the Field Level Help. Here, you will find some information about the field you have selected and its intended usage. But what we're looking for is on the Technical Details tab. Here you will find all of the database-related attributes for this field, including the data type, like string, date, decimal, etc., the length of the field where applicable, and most importantly, the DB field tells us the table and field name of the field in question. Well, most of the time. Sometimes you'll find that fields are calculated at runtime and not stored in the database. Since we're already looking in order entry, we'll go to the lines detail and the quantity available field is a good example of this. You will note here that there is nothing in the DB field text box. This tells us that this field does not exist in the data, but rather is a calculated field. Do note that most of the time, the information in the business description tab will tell you the formula used for the calculated field. In this case, we can see that the formula is quantity available equals total quantity on hand minus total demand quantity. Next up is data set relationships. This tool shows us how we'll link tables together. It will take a bit of tweaking, however, to make it useful as it's missing some critical information out of the box. From the overflow menu on the grid control, choose the personalize columns option. We want to add the following columns, data set ID, parent table, parent field, and child table. You can rearrange their order to suit. Now when we look at a data set like sales order, we can see each of the different parent-child relationships and what fields are required to link those tables together. For example, we can now see that order head links to order detail on company and order num. And there you have it. In just over two minutes, I've shown you where to find your data and how to relate your tables together. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other suggestions for video topics. And thanks for watching.